Bienvenidos, who's Shamdi, and welcome to this tutorial on how to install Packet Tracer version 7.3. That's right, there's been a lot of excitement and a lot of new developments around the Cisco Networking Academy curriculum. And quite possibly one of the most exciting developments is the release of Packet Tracer version 7.3. Now, this version of Packet Tracer is required and the minimum version in order to complete any of the new Cisco Networking Academy Introduction to Networks course material in terms of packet tracer activities, the Switching Routing and Wireless Essentials course, or the Enterprise Networks Security and Automation course. And in this video, I'm going to show you where you can download version 7.3. I'm going to show you where you can sign up for a course on Packet Tracer and get free access to Packet Tracer if you don't already have a Cisco Networking Academy account. And then I'm going to go over a few of the activities that you would see for each of the three courses. Displayed on my screen here is the Enterprise Networking Security and Automation course. So let's talk about where you would go if you don't have a Cisco Networking Academy account. You can go right here to netacad.com forward slash courses forward slash packet dash tracer. And all you need to do is enroll to download Packet Tracer. It's that simple. Now, if you already have a Cisco Networking Academy account and you want to download Packet Tracer version 7.3, you would simply log into your Netacad account. You're going to come down to the very bottom where it says Download Packet Tracer. You're going to come down here and you can see they've even got an upgrade notification here that says for CCNA 7, or in other words, for any of the Cisco Networking Academy CCNA version 7 curriculum, Packet Tracer 7.3 is the recommended minimum version in order to complete the Packet Tracer activities. Now, also remember that any activities that you complete in Packet Tracer 7.3 they are not going to properly function if you try to open them in Packet Tracer 7.22. So in other words, if you're upgrading to Packet Tracer 7.3, make sure that that is the version that you're going to be working with going forward. All right, well, I'm on a Mac, so let's download the Mac OS version 7.3.0. I'm going to go ahead and click Save File. You can see here in Firefox, it's going to show me the download status. And as soon as that download completes, I'm going to go ahead and click here. And we're all done. And we're going to open up that DMG file. Now, once that DMG file is open, what you can do and what I typically do is I will delete the previous version of Packet Tracer. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to the file manager. And if I bring this down just a little bit, you can see I've got Packet Tracer installed here. Let me go ahead and control click, move to trash. And I'm going to go ahead and empty the trash. Let's go ahead and say empty trash. And I've got this version over here that's running. Let's get rid of that. And I had Packet Tracer up before here. So let me go ahead and quit and get out of here. We don't want to save any of that information. I'm thinking I may have to do a force quit here. So let me do that just to make sure that we don't have Packet Tracer running. So we'll say force quit. And we are now rid of the old version of Packet Tracer. So again, this is Packet Tracer 730. How easy is it to install? Simply double click on the Packet Tracer 73 icon. Click OK, and in 30 seconds, we are going to be finished here. Now I'm going to click Install. You can see it immediately creates this new Cisco Packet Tracer folder. I'm going to get prompted for my password here in just a second, and we're going to get that entered in. And there it is. And that is it. We're done. So I'm going to go ahead and click Done. I'm going to close this window down, and let's go ahead and open up Cisco's Packet Tracer software. I do that by going into the folder and simply double clicking on Cisco Packet Tracer. Now, I could drag it and put it onto my desktop somewhere, 
or my quick launch bar, but I just double clicked it from the folder in which it resides. Let me go ahead and enter in my email address and let's click next. And then I'm gonna put my password in. Oops, sorry about that, a little typo there. We'll click sign in. I've got two-factor authentication configured, so let's enter in that two-factor authentication information and click verify. And here we are. This is Packet Tracer version 7.3.0. If I click about Cisco Packet Tracer, you can see that that is the latest and greatest version right there. So now let's turn our attention to some of the activities that you're going to see as a Netacad learner when you go to take either the Introduction to Networks, the Switching, Routing, and Wireless Essentials course, or the Enterprise Network Security and Automation course. And what you're looking at right here is a complete and comprehensive listing of every single packet tracer activity that is going to be a part of each of the three courses. Remember, it used to be four courses, and now it's been consolidated down to three courses. So what I'm gonna be doing starting this weekend is producing tutorials on each of the packet tracer activities. And they're gonna be much more than simply an answer key. Again, it's going to be a tutorial to do a very, very deep dive into the technology being covered as part of the packet tracer activity. Again, this is in the hopes of helping you prepare for your CCNA 200-301 certification exam, which will be the new exam after 24 February of next year. All right, well, let's take a look and see what one of these Packet Tracer activities looks like. Here's Packet Tracer activity 2.2.13, point-to-point, single-area, OSPF V2 configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and double-click on the activity. Here's where I could fill in my information. Let's click cancel on that. And here are the activity steps. Again, if you're familiar with Packet Tracer, this should look very, very similar to what you've seen in the past. Now, the activities, and I've looked at many of these activities already, they do look different than the previous set of activities that were out there. All right, so hopefully this is gonna be enough information to get you up and running with Packet Tracer version 7.3. And remember, if you're not a Netacad student, you can still get access to Packet Tracer and you can create your own topologies to practice with. Again, Cisco makes it super, super easy for learners who are trying to figure out how to get into the networking space, how to practice on simulators such as Packet Tracer, and to really give you a lot of freedom and flexibility to create your own environments. All right, well, that is going to do it for this tutorial on the new Cisco version 7 curriculum, and specifically where to get Packet Tracer version 7.3, how to install it, how to open it up, and we took a look at all of the new Packet Tracer activities that will accompany all three of the Cisco Networking Academy CCNA version seven courses. Thanks so much for watching and have a great night.